shall see. Got your geek news right here. Okay, so who liked Ang Lee's Hulk? <laughs> well, you're in the minority because Marvel and Universal decided to take him all again, and I guess I have to say I don't really mind because I, I wasn't that compelled well, by Ang Lee's know, version either. That basically means we get a new cast, we get a new crew, we get Liv Tyler, mm. we get Tim Roth, and of course, William Hurt as General Thunderbolt Ross. Mm -hmm. and not that we had a problem with Sam Elliott. No, I actually adore Sam Elliott. And I think he was the best part of the whole thing. <laughs> So with the new faces comes a new director, Louis Leterrier, who also directed Unleashed, if you remember, it's that movie with Bob Hoskins and Jet Li with the collar. Yeah, well, he's a dog. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> and now he's definitely got the feel for who the Hulk is and why Ed Norton is right, totally right, mm. to play Bruce Banner. Yes. When we find Bruce Banner at first, he, he's had a few Hulk cards, but they weren't controlled, and they didn't re remember what happened. But like slowly throughout our movie, he's going to re... He's gonna learn and through Betty's eyes and through the audience's eyes and through his own experience he's gonna learn that maybe maybe that monster that he thinks he has inside of him is not that bad and he's not bad at all maybe that monster within him is something that can do good and Edward was the perfect character for that because he, he really brings in that that kind of you know, emphatic sadness and, and, and intellect without you know being too too big in his feelings and too big in his acting. So it was really good to have somebody who was like, you know, very internal. Because that's what Bruce Banner is. He's internal. The Hulk is external. The Hulk is his primal self, you know. So it was very good. It was it was it was great. It was a great piece of casting when we found uh, Edward Norton. Ah! What are you doing? Think about this. You don't even know if you'll change. You don't have to do this, please. This is insane. Betty, I've got to try. I'm sorry. Betty has to be smart, she has to be beautiful, but she doesn't know she's beautiful, and most importantly, she cannot be one of these, you know, pow you know, overpowering uh, women who scare men away, because Bruce Banner would never be with a woman like this. But Bruce Banner is, 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 you know, Bruce Banner would be with the quietest woman he could find. Bruce Banner would be with the shyest woman he could find. Bruce Banner would wouldn't be with a woman who thinks she's beautiful. Somebody said, "What about Liv Tyler?" And I stopped thought, I was like, wait, but of course, leave Tyler. Fuck, damn it! Well, you know what? That looks awesome. And it looks like it has a great cast. First, Iron Man gets the Oscar treatment, and now the Hulk, it seems. Absolutely. Now, this takes the Bill Bixby route, where it skips the origin story, and it gives you Bruce Banner mm. on the run from the U.S. Army. Oh, and a little character called Abomination. Oh, man, you've got to see this. Come on!
what Blonsky becomes is the embodiment of what Banner doesn't want to have happen, which is for this thing inside of him to be replicated and turned into a, a weapon in a way. Um, and yet, the only the only thing that he can that they can put up against it is is this you know the equal and opposite force in a way, which is Hulk. Blonsky, now you're up. Sorry. Cover me. He's a special ops guy, and we don't know. I mean, he's, the fact that he's English and he's in an American uniform, he's middle of nowhere, you know, he's hauled out of, he's put in difficult situations, he's always the team leader, he does that stuff. So he's an action man who is really unimpressed by anything. I think he's come to the end. I think he's literally on his last legs. It's, it's finishing for him. Okay, Ooh. okay, so wow. Blonsky seems to have an English accent. Instead of being Russian or from the KGB, <laughs> you know, I, I would not be surprised if we get a little bit of a curveball in there, so don't count it out yet. Exactly, and well, you know, we all know that Edward Norton is Bruce Banner, but holy crap, did you know that he co-wrote the screenplay? That's pretty badass, mm. actually, and I think he has it under a pen name, like Edward Harrison or something like that, Very so you may see a different Edward in there, but it's Ed Norton. That's pretty wicked. And that's why we've got Doc Samson, we've got the leader, we've got Abomination, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, Tony Stark has a cameo as well. Delicious Robert Downey Jr. Oh, I will be in line for sure because more Iron Man can only make this a better movie. Here, I'm here. so, so, so glad Marvel gets to make their own movies. Yes. They're playing in their own sandbox all at once. I love it. Yes, it definitely shows. And you know what? We'll have a review of it as well. So make sure you see The Hulk on Friday, June 13th, so we can all talk about it. Yeah, it looks like it might be an unlucky Friday the 13th for <laughs> Shyamalan. Ooh, the happening's coming out the same day, so good luck, buddy. <laughs> good luck. This looks badass. Okay, hopefully we'll also get a happening preview up here, but I'm sorry, The Hulk took uh, precedence. So we'll but, see what we can do. But I'm do. hoping for you, Shyamalan. I'm hoping for you. She is. Mm. See you guys later. Bye.